from around the globe. It's the Cube covering Google Cloud next on Air 20. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube's coverage of Google Cloud Next on Air. They, one of the weeks that they had for the show was to dig deep into infrastructure. Of course, one of the foundational pieces when we talk about cloud. So happy to welcome to the program. I've got two of the general managers for both compute and networking. First of all, welcome back. One of our Cube alumni, Jun Yang, uh, who's the vice president of compute, and also welcoming Shailish Shukla, who's the vice president and general manager of networking, both with Google Cloud. Thank you both so much for joining us. Great to be here. Great to be here. Thanks for inviting us too. So, June, if I, if I can start with you, you know, one of, one of the themes I heard in the keynote that you gave during the infrastructure week uh, was talking about, we, we talk about meeting customers where they are. How do I get, you know, all of my applications that I have, obviously some of them I'm building new applications, some of them I'm doing SaaS, but many of them, I have to say, how do I get it from where I am to where I want to be and then start taking advantage of cloud and modernization and, and, and new capabilities. So if you could, you know, what's new when it comes to migration from a Google Cloud standpoint? And you know, give us a little bit of insight as to what you're hearing from your customers. Yeah, definitely, happy to do so. I think for many of our customers, migration is really the first step, right? And a lot of the application on-premise today. So the goal is really, how do I move from on-prem to the cloud? Um, so to that extent, I think we have announced a number of capabilities. And one of the programs that are very exciting that we have just launched is called RAMP program, which stands for Google Cloud Rapid Assessment and Migration Program. So it's really kind of bundling a holistic approach of, uh, you know, kind of programs, tooling, and, uh, you know, as well as incentives all together to really help customer with that kind of a journey. Right. And then also uh, on the product side, we have introduced a number of new capabilities to really ease that transition for customer to move from on-premise to the cloud as well. One of the things we just announced is Google Cloud VMware Engine. And this is really, a, you know, we built as a native service inside Google, right, as a Google, to allow customer to run their VMware as a service on top of Google infrastructure. So customer can easily take their, uh, you know, what's running on-premise that's running on VMware today and move it to the cloud was really no change whatsoever and really lift and shift. And your other point is really about you know, modernization, right? Because most of our customers coming in today, it's not just about, hey, I'm running this as the way it is. It's also, how do I extract more value out of this kind of capability? So we build this as a service so that customer can easily start using services like BigQuery to be able to extract data and insights out of this and to be able to give them additional advantages and to create new services and things like that. And for other customers who might want to be able to, you know, leverage our AI and ML capability, that's there at their fingertips as well. So it's just really trying to make that process super easy. Um, another kind of class of workloads we see is really around SAP, right? That's in bread and butter for many enterprises. So customers are moving those onto the clouds, and we've seen many examples uh, really kind of really allow customers to take the data that's sitting in SAP HANA and be able to extract more value out of those. Home Depot is a great example of those, and where they're able to leverage BigQuery to take you know, their um, stockouts and some of the inventory management and really to the next level and really giving a customer a much better experience at the end of the day. So those are kind of just a few things that we're doing on that side uh, to really make a customer easy to lift and shift and then be able to modernize along the way. Well, yeah, June, if I, if I would like to dig in a little bit on the VMware piece that you talked about, I've been talking to VMware a bit lately, uh, talking yeah. to some of their customers, leveraging the VMware Cloud offerings. And that mm -hmm. modernization is so important because the traditional way you think about virtualization was I, I stick something in a VM and I leave it there. And of course, mm -hmm. customers, I want to be able to take advantage of the innovation and changes in the cloud. Uh, so mm -hmm. it seems like things like your analytics and AI would be a natural fit uh, for mm -hmm. VMware customers to then get access uh, to those services that you're offering. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we have lots of customer. That's kind of one of the differentiators that customers are looking for, right? I can run my VMware in a variety of places, but I want to be able to take it to the next level. How do I use data as my differentiator? Uh, you know, one of the core missions as part of the Google mission is really how do I help customers to digitally transform and reimagine their business with a data power innovation? And that's kind of one key piece we, uh, we you know, we want to focus on. And this is part of the reason why we built this as a really a native service inside Google Cloud so that you're going through the same console 
using, you know, accessing your VMware engine, accessing BigQuery, accessing networking, firewalls, and so forth, all really seamlessly. And so it makes it really easy to be able to extend and modernize. All right, well, June, one of the other things, anytime we come to a cloud event is we know that there's going to be updates in some of the primary offerings. So when it comes to compute and storage, I know there's a number of uh, announcements there, probably more than we'll be able to cover in this, but g give us some of the highlights. Yeah, let me give some highlights. Uh, I mean, at the core of this is really Google Compute, compute Engine. And we're very excited. We've introduced a number of new, what we call VM families, right? Essentially different VM instances that cater towards different use cases and different kind of workloads. Uh, so for example, we launched the N2D VM. Uh, so this is a, a, a the set of VM that's based on AMD technology and uh, really kind of pr provide excellent price performance benefit for customers and who can choose to go down that particular path. Uh, we also just really introduced our A2 VM family. This is uh, based on GPU Accelerator Optimize the VM. Um, so we're the first one to the market to introduce NVIDIA Ampere A100. So for lots of customers who are really introduced, uh, we're interesting, you know, use GPU to do their ML and AI type of uh, analysis. This is a big help because it's, uh, it's a, they got a better performance compared to the previous generation. So they can run their models faster and turn it around and turn insights. Wonderful, Shailish, of course, uh, we want to hear about the networking components too. Uh, you know, Google, very well known. Uh, you know, everybody leverages uh, Google's network and global reach. Uh, so how about the update from your networking side? Absolutely, Stu, let me give you a set of updates uh, that we have announced um, uh, at, at next conference. Um, so first of all, uh, as you know, uh, many customers choose Google Cloud uh, for the scale, the reach, the performance, and the elasticity uh, that we provide. Um, and ultimately, it results in better user experience or customer experience. And the backbone of all of this capability is our private global backbone network, right? Which uh, all of our cloud customers benefit from. Uh, the networking is extremely important to advance our customers' digital journeys, the ones that June talked about, migration and modernization, as well as security, right? So to that end, uh, we made several announcements. Let's talk about some of them. First, uh, we announced a new subsea cable uh, called the Grace Hopper, uh, which will actually run between the US on one side and UK on the other and Spain on, on, the, uh, on another leg. So this, and it's equipped with uh, about 16 fiber pairs that will get completed in 2022, and it will allow, allow for significant new capacity between the US and Europe, right? Uh, second, Google Cloud CDN. Uh, it's one of our most popular and fast-growing service offerings. Uh, it now so offers uh, the capability to serve content from on-prem as well as other clouds, uh, especially for hybrid and multi-cloud deployments. Uh, this provides a tremendous amount of flexibility in where the content can be placed and in overall content and application delivery. Uh, third, uh, we have um, announced the expansion of our partnership with Cisco. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, we have uh, announced this notion of Cisco SD-WAN Cloud Hub with Google Cloud. Uh, it's one of the first in the industry uh, to actually create an automated end-to-end -end solution that intelligently and securely you know, connects or bridges enterprise networks to any workload across multiple clouds and to other locations. Uh, fourth, uh, we announced uh, new capabilities in the Network Intelligence Center. It's a platform that provides customers with unmatched visibility into their networks, along with proactive kind of network verification, security recommendations, and so on. Uh, there were two uh, specific modules there around firewall insights and performance dashboard. Uh, that we announced in addition to the three that already existed. And finally, we have a range of really powerful announcements in the security front. As you know, security is one of our top priorities and our infrastructure and products are designed, built and operated with an end-to-end -end security um, framework and end-to-end -end security as a core design principle. Uh, let me give you a few highlights. First, as part of making it easy for firewall management, uh, for our customers to manage firewall across multiple organizations, we announced hierarchical firewall. Second, uh, in order to enable you know, better security um, uh, capability, we announced the notion of packet mirroring, right? So which, uh, which is something that we announced uh, earlier in the year, but it's now GA, 
and allows customers to collect and inspect network traffic across multiple machine types uh, without any overhead, right? Uh, third is uh, in actually in our compute and security teams, we announced the capability to what we call as do conf confidential VMs, which offer the ability to encrypt data while being processed. We have always had the capability to encrypt data at rest and while in motion. Now, uh, we are the first in the industry to announce the ability to encrypt data even well while it is being processed. Uh, so we are really you know, uh, pleased to offer that as part of our confidential computing uh, portfolio. Um, we also announced uh, the ability to do a managed service around our Cloud Armor security portfolio for DDoS, web application, and bot detection. That's called Cloud Armor Managed Protection. And finally, uh, we also announced the capability, to, capability called Private Service Connect that allows customers to connect effortlessly to other Google Cloud services or to third-party SaaS applications uh, while keeping their traffic secure and uh, private over the in, uh, kind of the broader internet. So we are really pleased to announce a number of you know very uh, critical kind of announcements, products, and capabilities and partnerships such as Cisco in order to further uh, the uh, modernization and migration for our customers. Yeah, you know, one note I will make for our audience, you know, check the details on the website. I know some of the security features are now in beta. Uh, many of the other things, it's now general availability. Should, should I leave the follow-up question I have for you is when I look in 2020, the internet patterns of traffic have changed drastically. Uh, you, you saw a very rapid shift. Everyone had needed to work from home. Um, th there's been a lot of stresses and strains uh, on the network. Uh, when I hear things like your CDN or your SD-WAN partnership with Cisco, uh, I have to think that there's you know, an impact on that. Um, what are you seeing? What are you hearing from your customers? How are you helping them uh, work through these, these rapid changes uh, to, to be able to respond and still give people the, you know, the performance and reliability uh, of traffic where they need it, when they need it? Right, absolutely. This is a you know, very important question and a very important topic, right? And um, when we saw uh, the impact of COVID, um, uh, you know, as you know, uh, Google's mission is to be, continue to be helpful to our customers. Uh, we actually invested and continue to invest in building out our CDN capability, our interconnect, the capacity in our network infrastructure and so on, in order to provide um, better, for example, um, uh, distance learning, video conferencing, um, uh, e-commerce, financial services, and so on. Um, and we are proud to say that uh, we were able to support uh, a very uh, significant expansion uh, in the overall traffic um, you know, on a global basis, right? Uh, in Google Clouds and Google's network without a hitch. So we are really uh, you know, proud to uh, be able to say that. Um, in addition, uh, there are other areas where we have been uh, looking to help our customers. For example, high-performance computing is a very interesting uh, capability that many customers are using for things such as uh, COVID research, right? So a good example is um, uh, Northeastern University in Boston that has been using you know, a, a sort of thousands of kind of uh, preemptible virtual machines on Google Cloud to power very large scale kind of data-driven model and simulations to figure out how the travel restrictions and social distancing will actually impact the spread of the virus. That's an example of uh, the way that we are trying to be helpful as part of the, uh, the broader uh, global situation. Great, uh, June, I, I have to imagine generally from infrastructure, there, there have been a number of other impacts uh, that, that Google Cloud has been helping your customers. Uh, any other examples that you'd like to share? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you look at uh, the COVID impact, it impacts different industries quite differently. We've seen certain industries that just really, their demand skyrocketed overnight. Um, for example, uh, you know, if I take one of our, our internal customer, Google, uh, you know, Google Meet, which is a Google's video conferencing service, uh, we just announced that we saw a 30x increase over the last few months since COVID has started. And this is all running on Google infrastructure. And we've seen similar kind of a patterns for a number of our customers uh, on the media entertainment area, uh, certainly video conferencing and so forth. And we have been able to scale 
to meet these key customers' demand and uh, to make sure that they have the agility they need to meet the demand from their customers uh, and so on. So we're definitely very proud to be part of the, you know, part of a uh, part of this effort to kind of enable folks to be able to work from home, to be able to study from home, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, for some customers, you know, the whole business continuity is really a big deal for them. Um, you know, with the whole work from home uh, mandate. Uh, so, for example, one of our customers, Telus International, um, it's a Canadian tele telecommunication company. Because of COVID, they had to, you know, be able to transition tens and thousands of employees to work from home model immediately. And they were able to work with Google Cloud and our partner, Itopia, who specialize in, uh, in virtual desktop and application. So overnight, literally in 24 hours, we're able to deploy a fully configured virtual desktop environments from Google Cloud and allow them to be, their employees to come back to, to service. So that's just one example. There's hundreds and thousands more of those examples. And it's been very heartening to be part of this, uh, you know, Google to be helpful to our customer. Great. Well, I, I want to let both of you just have the final word. When, when you're talking to customers uh, here in 2020, uh, how should they be thinking of Google Cloud? How do you make sure that you're helping them and differentiating from some of the other solutions in the environment? It, maybe, June, if we could start with you. Sure. Um, so at Google Cloud, I mean, our goal is to make it easy for anyone, uh, you know, whether you're big, uh, big enterprises or small startups, to be able to build your applications, to be able to innovate and harness the power of uh, data. Um, to extract additional information, insights, and to be able to scale your business. Um, as an infrastructure provider, uh, we want to deliver the best infrastructure to run all customers' application and on a global basis, reliably and securely. Um, infrastructure is definitely getting more and more complicated. And uh, you know, as we kind of spread our capacity to different locations, it gets more complicated from a logistics and uh, perspective as well. Um, so we want to help to do the heavy lifting around infrastructure so that from a customer, they can simply consume our infrastructure as a service and be able to focus on their businesses and not worry about the infrastructure side. So, you know, that's our goal. We'll do the plumbing work and we'll allow customers to innovate on top of that. Right. You know, June, you said that very well, right? Distributed infrastructure is a key part of our strategy to help our customers. Uh, in addition, we also provide the platform capability. So essentially a digital transformation platform that manages data at scale to help you know, develop and modernize the applications, right? And, the, and finally, we layer on top of that a suite of industry specific solutions uh, that deliver kind of these digital capabilities across each of the key verticals, such as financial services or telecommunications or media and entertainment, retail, healthcare, et cetera. So that's how Combining together infrastructure, platform, and solutions, we are able to help uh, customers in their modernization journeys. All right, well, June and Shailish, thank you so much for sharing the updates. Congratulations to your teams on the progress and absolutely look forward to hearing more in the future. Great, thank you, Stu. Thank you, Stu. All right, and stay tuned for more coverage of Google Cloud next on Air 20. I'm Stu Miniman, thank you for watching theCUBE.